I've now taken apart about a dozen or so e-bike and scooter batteries just like this with all the wires and all the mess and whatnot. And the main reason is because if one of these cells goes bad, the whole battery is dead, right? And so you want a way to recycle these cells and put them into a new fresh working battery pack. And this is the kit that I use. I, I found it recently on Amazon. This is now gonna be my fourth or fifth one, you know? Uh, and my kids love them when I upgrade their quads. So let me show you how to go from this to this. Step one of 15, source some 18650 batteries. Facebook Marketplace, eBay, you could buy new on websites, you could buy gently used on battery hookup, wherever, it doesn't matter. Keep in mind, the goal here is to spend as little as possible. Step two of 15, prep the batteries, clean the batteries, right? They have these spot weld connections on top of them. So make sure you, you know, get all that off, clean it off. Then charge the batteries. I use this little charger, charge all the batteries to hundred percent. So I know all of the batteries are the same. Step three to 15, order this thing on Amazon. It shows up to your house and put your battery packs in the box like this now that they're charged and clean. So solder your connector. That's gonna be done. Then you put your BMS, this board is the BMS. You put your BMS inside and then you do all of the spot welds. Spot welding is definitely a pain. The things really do get hot, so just take plenty of breaks. Like It's pretty easy. From there, you want to spot weld your BMS on top. Now, here's how you check if you did a good job. This is a different battery pack than I've been building the whole video. From the Amazon listing, here's the image or whatever, but here's how you just test it. So here's your BMS, here's your, your thing, right? You wanna put, can, is that visible for you guys right here? Uh, right there, okay. And so that's the main battery negative, okay? Right here, B minus, it's under this black clip right here. So we put B minus right here. Now we know every single uh, group is 4.2 volts, right? So then we put that on there, make sure my hand isn't blocking, 4.19, okay? Next next group, right? Because when you're going in series connections, it doubles, it increases the voltage, right? So this one is 4.19, right there. Is that what it says? No, 4.13, <laughs> I was trying to read in the, okay, so 4.13. Now, if the next one is also gonna be about 4.13, that means 4.13 4 times two, that's 8.26. Go to the next one. What does it say? 8.24, okay, very, very close though, okay? There's obviously subtle differences, but you know, whatever, 0 0.1, 0 0.01 actually, so very, very small difference. Now, if we add another 413 to this, so that's gonna be 824 plus 413, that's gonna be, um, 1236, 1237. Okay. And you just go each one. Like, don't do the math in your head. Like I am literally follow the sheet. This is how you can go through, check every single grouping, every single voltage. Obviously you can put it right here on the top. Check your pack right there. 53.2. And then you can check the plug and make sure everything is like 53.2. And again, 53.2 right in the... So that's how you check it. Make sure everything's good. Go through all these, just you know, probe around in here essentially, and you'll be good to go. Now, the main difference, I think the main advantage, not difference, the main advantage between this and this is the balance lead wires, okay? This right here is the same thing as this tab right here, right? So it checks the pack, checks the grouping or the group of cells here, right, with this thing. and. These wires, to my understanding, is what people usually mess up and how they start a fire, these wires. Because they can go loose, they can rub up against something, they can cut through the insulation. There's nothing to cut through on this style. When you're doing this, where's the wires, right? It, they're all right here, it's this connector, it's this uh, little strip, this metal strip right on the top that's soldered on top. So there's nothing for to go loose or to start a fire. So I genuinely think this is like, this is new. Like, I, I do think this is gonna be really, really, really cool. Uh, I, I ordered some more, so I have like, I have more right here. You see that green one? That green one is not very good, so it sucks. Uh, but there's another black one I'm gonna be making. Like you see all the cells right there. Oops. Uh, you see all the cells right behind me right there on the shelf. Like I'm gonna take a finish taking apart this battery because I don't have the connector. I'm making sure all my electric things have just simple XT60 connectors. I'm sick and tired of all the different proprietary ones. Um, but yeah, generally speaking, it's this mess of wires that can cause problems because the insulation wears through and then short circuits, right? So that's why I'm sick and tired of these, all these different styles, all these different things. And I'm switching everything over to this.